Guys, as I told you hey, before. Hey, hey, Mr. Rumor, what? Wait, 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 wait. What's wrong, man? This is wrong. What is wrong? What is wrong, man? I'm, I'm shooting video. What's wrong with you, man? Hey, are you sure? Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Goodbye. Really, man? Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, how you guys doing? I hope you are fine. Thank you very much for clicking my YouTube channel. I'm your team, Laysa. I'm back again with a new video. Today's video, guys, is different. You know what? Uh, we're going to talk about marriage and uh, relationship because it's very, very important. Very lately in Africa, the number of divorce rates got very, very high, which is you know brought us to this topic like what is the reasons why people got divorced in africa because in africa our society is so conservative they don't like to get divorced because this is not about even you it's about your family and it's about the society because if you when you get divorced people start to wonder like why in the past people used to you know keep you know relationship keep married no matter what happened because they don't want you know people other people to talk about you but right now i guess you know people they don't care, just don't care, right? If the marriage did not work, I'm going to go divorce. That's that's how it is. And so this is why today we're going to talk about well, the main reason why the divorce rate got high in Africa. Uh, we're going to talk about this reason specifically in this video. All right, stay tuned for that. All right, okay, guys. In order to back to the root of this problem, I guess. We have, I will, I will give you an example using my family in order to make it very simple for you to understand. All right. My family back then when I was in Sudan, um, my mother actually do all home activities, all right? Cook, clean the house, take care of kids, do all home activities. On the other hand, my father actually used to go to work and brought food to the table. That's exactly what, it is, what was his job, all right? So I actually expect the same thing for my family for days to come. When I got married, I expected my wife to stay home and take care of kids and clean and do all home activities. And my responsibility actually to go to work and you know, get more money and brought my food to the table. That's exactly what's supposed to be. But actually, unfortunately, that's not the reality. You know what? Because, you know, life has changed a lot. And ladies nowadays become more aware of their rights and at the same time they have the opportunity to find a job, their own job, you know, they actually get paid very, very well. And this is going to cause many problems because now ladies, they will not, you know, stay at home and take care of kids only. They also, they have to go to work and get paid salary and they became like financially independent. And that's actually one of the main reasons why conflict happens all the time between men and women very 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 lately uh, the main reason of conflict between men and women and who's going to to lead the, the family is is the main reason why people fight all right okay back then my family we were seven siblings okay four boys and three girls boys tend to go to school and after school they back home and then after that they go to street and play football and do all you know what's actually gang styles actually you know what when boys like to go to to streets and play and do all the all of that but on the other hand my sisters actually used to stay at home clean the rooms cook clean the dishes all the and by the way back then we don't have washing machines we used to wash our clothes using our hands so it was very very hard time with that being said guys um but now life has changed a lot as i mentioned earlier and now uh ladies they you know you you don't you don't have to expect from ladies to take care of your uh, clothes and clean your clothes. You have to do it your own, you know what I'm saying? Life's supposed to be equal between, you know, we share responsibility between women and men. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I guess this is the new generation. I think in order to uh, prevent those kind of issues for days to come, for years to come, I think we have to stop uh, doing that. You know, we have to teach our kids that, you know, Marriage is about sharing responsibility. You know what? We can't just depend on women and expect that our lives become perfect. Of course, no, because that is going to put a lot of hard work in their shoulder as women, right? And so I think this is supposed to be equally between women, men and women. You know, as men, as men, be responsible enough, man. You have to clean your clothes. You have to take care of your room. You have to be responsible. You know what I'm saying? Your wife is your partner, not someone actually brought it to the house to to become like enslave her. Basically, all right. You you brought her to the house to help you with your life, to have fun in your life, to make your life easier and simple. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's all what about, right, guys? Well, uh, we're gonna talk about the next steps go, uh, about what would get, what would happen if that if if we actually apply, apply the same system. All right, guys. 
yeah, stay tuned for that. Who will be for? Uh, all right, guys. As I told you hey, before. Hey, hey, Mr. Rumor, what? Wait, 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 wait. What's wrong, man? This is wrong. What is wrong? What is wrong, man? I'm, I'm shooting video. What's wrong with you, man? Hey, are you sure? Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Goodbye. Really, man? Oh, my God. This is... Sorry, guys. Okay. As I told you earlier, um, imagine with me if we start to appreciate women more and, you know, um, take more of the responsibility of the very hard responsibility that actually in their shoulder, believe me, women became more uh, productive, became more uh, happy, became more, um, I don't know, life it became fabulous. Because this is the main reason why we have to share uh, some of the responsibility with our ladies, right? Because it's must, guys, it's, we, we're supposed to do this. And so, yeah, that's, that's, that's how about. But then believe me, guys, when ladies became very happy, we men, we will become happy. You know why? Because when women happy, that means we are happy. Because now we're going to, you know, have more joy in our life. You know, everything is gonna be fabulous. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I wish you health, wealth, and the peace of mind. Okay? Asante.